Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for another Tutorial Tuesday. This week is going to be all about creating your titles and using your alpha stickers um, that you've gotten with your kits. So I'm going to start out by showing you a way to add a title to your page without using your alpha stickers, just with using your program. If you go up to the, your insert menu, um, you have this area right here where you can add text. You can add just a regular text box, a te text path where you can click and it will follow you know, a circular line or a swirly line. Um, your fancy text, which is your text from your Creative Memories art kits, um, and a text shape. And that's what I use a lot for my um, titles. So you can see I already have it set up, but um, you can go ahead and type in whatever you want your title to say. I'm going to pick a different font. I'll try that. Smiley Monster font, I like that one. I like it bold just to give it a little more standout. To pick your color, you can click on the fill and you can fill it with a paper that you have imported or you can fill it with a solid color. So I'll do that and I'll just sample a color from my screen. Like that one. I'm going to give it a white outline. And I'll make it a little bit thicker. And you can also select no line if you would prefer it not to be outlined. And once you hit create with the text shape, you cannot go back and edit it. So if you make a spelling mistake or if you want to change the width of the line, you just have to um, delete this one and start over. So once I hit create, there is my title. I'm going to move it down to where I want it. And if I hold down shift, I can resize it without distorting the text. So I'm going to put it like that, line it up here. And I would like it to go all the way to the end of this line. So I'm going to drag it, distort it a little bit, but I don't think it, I don't think that looks bad at all. Add a little shadow, and that's done. So if you get a, give a kid a camera, you never know what you'll see. These are pictures my daughter took with my camera one day. So that's a way that you can do it. If you're not going to use an alpha sticker, I would highly recommend that you stay away from just a regular old text box and try a text shape. It gives you a lot more. Um, freedom with the outlining and you can resize it a lot easier. If you wanted to take this a step farther and even make it look like um, an alphabet sticker, you can go up to your format menu and add a filter and you can give it in the edge tab, you can give it a 3D edge. So if I update the large preview and you can watch and see what this will look like, it even pops it a little bit more so it makes it look like an actual alpha sticker. It makes it look more 3D. So you can see how that looked on my page. So if you like that look, remember if you go to Format, Surface, or Filters, Format Filters is where you would find the 3D Edge option under Edge. And you can play around with the um, sliders here and get the effect that you would like for your page. Okay, so next I'd like to show you how to use the alpha that comes with your Creative Memories Art Kits. If you have Storybook, then you have at least some Creative Memories Art Kits because you um, got some with your program. You got the black and white power palette probably and the cheerful power palette and those both come with alphas and if you don't know where to find them you probably have never used them. So if you go to your insert menu again this is the vintage chic power palette from Creative Memories. Um, I probably should say that on this page since it loads this is the geek chic kit from Michelle Martin. It's a cute kit. Okay, but anyway, back to this um, vintage chic layout from Creative Memories. Um, if you go to insert again and you insert a fancy text, you can click on that. And this is where your Creative Memories um, fonts are going to be stored. So this one I like a lot. Um, if you go to your library, you can see where you have your... Um, these are all the kits that I have that have a font with them. So this one is from the Tattered the Flannel Kit. I, I like this one a lot. I've used it quite a few times. Um, I have April Afternoon, Birthday Boy, your black and white you can't see because it's white. If you hover over it you'll be able to see it there. Candy Shop Power Palette, Cheerful, you should have that one. Um, Enchanted, but I'm in Vintage Chic so I'm going to use the Vintage Chic one. It looks kind of like a Scrabble letter without the numbers on it I guess. So you select your content and then you just type here. And Did I select my content? You have to actually click it over here. So then it'll show up there. And I'm going to type in my daughter's name. And hit create. And it will put it there for you. And they're already all grouped together. 
I'm going to resize it just a little bit so it fits in there and give it a shadow to pop it. And that's done. So don't forget about your Creative Memories art kits that have fonts with them. So to check those out, you go to Insert Fancy Text. And then if you click on here and go to your library, you'll be able to see all of your Creative Memories art kits that came with fonts. So don't forget about those. Okay. All right, I also wanted to show you how to use the actual alpha stickers that you get with your kits. So over here, I'm going to go to page. This one needs a title. This is the Farmyard Fun Kit from Albums to Remember. And I just want to put a title on here that says Farm Time. And this is a kit that I haven't had time to import yet. So if I go to where I have it saved, right here, um, so this is the kit, you can see, cute kit. I have an alpha that came with it, and I'm going to do green. So I'm just going to slide this over. So you just have both of your windows open at the same time, your program and then your alpha. And so I want to say farm time. So I need, let's see, an A, an E, an F. And I'm holding down control so that I can select more than one at a time. Um, and T. And I think those are all the letters that I need. Oh, but I'd rather have capitals, I think. So let me go down and get the capitals. I didn't realize I had those. So again, I'm holding down control. And then I'm going to let go of control and I'm just going to click and drag those all over onto my layout. So I'll put them over here so I can see them. So I'm just going to move them around and I can move them later again. Right now I just want to get everything organized so that I can make sure I have all the letters that I need. And it takes a couple seconds, but it's nothing you can't handle, I'm sure. Let's see, so it looks like I'm going to need to copy my M. So I have another M for farm. Alright, so I'm going to right click and say copy, and then paste, and I'll have another M. Alright, now what I like to do is hold down shift, and you can click all of those letters in farm, and then right click and align them. That way they're all lined up, and you can do top, you can do middle, you can do bottom, it shouldn't matter but it will just line them up so that you don't have to sit with your mouse or your arrow buttons and try to nudge everything around. Um, I like to kind of have them overlapping a little bit. I think that's kind of a cool look. So I'm going to kind of scooch them together a little bit more. And I just use my arrow button usually. I would like that M to be underneath the R. So I'm going to slide it down like that. And then I'm going to put my T over here a little bit on top of the I, and then scooch my M over underneath the I, and then have my E on top of that. Okay, so now once you have them placed how you like them, um, select all of those again, and then right click and group them together, and that's going to take them from over here and put them all in one individual layer, one total layer, and I'm going to do it again with time makes it easier to move them around, it makes it easier to resize them. And so if I click both of them at the same time now, see they're both highlighted, and I hold down shift so I don't distort, I'm going to resize them down just a little bit so that they'll fit on my page better. So I'm going to put farm here, maybe time, let's put time there and then put farm on top of that. And there's my title. Um, I need a shadow still, so let's select both of them, and we'll go to Format and add a little shadow. Just to pop it up a little bit. If you are somebody who likes a heavy shadow, by all means, add a heavy shadow. And there's your alpha when you don't have it imported. Um, for those of you who are on top of the ball and have imported your alpha, um, let me show you how to use those. If you have it imported, I hope you've tagged it. Um, I have all of my alpha tagged as alpha, so if I want to look for an alpha, I can do that without having to go through all of my individual kits. So I'm going to go to my content, and this kit is called Flora by Inkling and Wit from Design House Digital. Um, but it didn't come with a 
alpha and I want one for this page so I'm going to click on alpha and I'm going to do a red alpha because I think that would really pop next to all the um, softer colors. So if I click on alpha and red and say give me all of those tags it will just pull up all of my red alphas. So I'm going to look at those and pick the one I want to use. Mm, let's see. I like this one. Let's see what else we have? So you can go through and pick all the red alphas that you have that you would like. Um, let's use this one. And I'm going to type in happy. So completely happy in this moment. Now, unlike when you don't have it imported, how I selected all the letters, so H A P P Y. Um, you can't do that here, you have to add them each individually. So add to page, add to page. I need two P's, so I'm going to add those twice. One P, another P, and then Y. Okay, so we can move them where you want them. Just get them rough, they don't have to be perfect because we're going to use the align tool anyway. Alright, so now if you hold down shift, you can select Whoops, I don't want that selected. You can select each of the letters. Try to click right on the letter. And then right click and align. Again, you can do top, bottom, middle. They should be the same height, so it shouldn't matter. And then space them how you want them spaced. Looks pretty good. And once you're happy with how they are, you can select them all, right click, and group them. Again, this just makes it easier to move things around, to resize them. They stay, you know, in their spots that you want them in. And then if you always, if you wanted to change something, move something around, you can always right-click and oh, right-click and go to ungroup right there, and it will split them back apart into their five separate layers. Again, I would like to add a shadow, and your page is done. And that looks much nicer than just using a text box and making a big red font. So keep that in mind when you get those alphas in your kits. Um, the last thing I wanted to show you was how to use um, alpha when it comes on like one big contact sheet. So let's look at that. Um, I have a page over here that I wanted to show you. So this is the Mandy King Joy of Boy kit. So let me just show you the kit here. And I have that kit not saved yet, not imported, sorry. But this came with separate alpha, so you would use it just like we use that farm time one. But also it came with a sheet, and sometimes you get a kit that only comes with a sheet. So they look like this, where they have all of your alpha all together in one big ping file. Um, and you can still use those in this program. So you're gonna take that contact sheet and you're just gonna slide it over into your page. And it will look like this. It has all of your alpha that you want. And my title is going to say, This Boy Loves to Smile. So I need the word smile out of here. Now, what I do when I need to break this apart is I go to my Cut and Fill menu, and I use a custom straight path. So first I need my S. So you're just going to click around it. You usually have a lot of room to work with. Um, keep both sections. That way it will break my S apart, but it will also leave the rest of the letters because I still need to get my other letters. So go ahead and cut. And if you look over here, it will break apart in a second your S from the rest of the alphabet. So there's my S and then here's the rest of it. So we want to go with the rest of it again. Go get your custom again. And next we'll do the M. So just kind of click around in between. Keep both sections because we need three more letters still. Get those again. Straight path. Get your I keep both sections, and we just need the L and the E. And once you get to the E, then you don't have to keep both sections anymore because you don't need the rest of the alphabet. So we'll keep the, both sections for the L, and then when we get the E, we'll just keep the E part. So we'll go straight path again. And we will just keep the shaded section, because the E is what's shaded right now. And it'll get rid of the Whoops, sit undo if you make a mistake. I must have had something else selected. So let's go here. Whoops. 
and do your custom again, and we'll get the E. Oh, and see, I'm selecting the M. There's so that that layer is selected. You can always hit undo. All right, so we want to keep the E, so that's the unshaded now, and we'll cut, and it should get rid of the rest of the alphabet for us, and just keep the E. So now I have my letters. They are all over the place, but I can move them down to where I want them very easily. These are nice to layer over each other, I think. And it looks like I need it a little bit smaller so it'll fit underneath my, this boy loves to smile, so I'm going to group it. And then hold down shift, move it down a little bit, and add my shadow. And if you wanted to reor reorder these, you can just ungroup. And like if you wanted the M to be on top of the I, you can do that and see how it popped up on top. So you can make it look however you'd like. And that's it. Those are all your different options for your titles. You can do a text shape, a fancy text to use your Creative Memories alphas. You can get alpha from your content over here, or you can get an alpha from a separate folder like this that you have not imported yet. So go ahead and make your layouts, use some alphas, and let me see what you come up with. Thanks a lot.